This is Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm going to chat with you about Project Life. Stampin' Up! has partnered with Becky Higgins to offer you some great Project Life products. One of the things I'm super excited about is the Project Life app. And you can see it here on my iPad. You can also use it on your iPhone. It doesn't work for Android yet. I know she's working on that, but since it doesn't work on Android phones, I have decided to use my iPad for it. And actually using the entire app, that would be sort of a separate video. So I'm not going to get into how to use it, but I just wanted to show you that I've created lots and lots of fun pages with this. And you can do eight by eight or 12 by 12 layouts. And once you get them designed, you can get them printed to put into your Project Life albums. I have chosen to get them printed through my digital studio. So the second part of this video is going to walk you through how to get them printed through my digital studio. So let me just show you some of the Project Life supplies. Stampin' Up! does offer a 6x8 album and a 12x12 album. I have prepared my 6x8 album with the Hello December packet of cards and accessories. So I have an album here that's ready to go for December to record all of my fun activities with my family. So that's something that you can do in the typical pocket page system. But what I was showing you earlier is something I'm putting into my 12 by 12 album. And those are the pages that I designed with that Becky Higgins Project Life app. And I got them printed through my digital studio. I actually printed them on a heavyweight cardstock. You do have a choice between lighter and heavier. And I think that this is this turned out really nice. You could really do either way. You could save a little money and do the lighter weight or you can do the heavier weight. Doesn't really matter. And so for that, I have just slipped them into the 12 by 12 blank sheets. These are not actually a pocket style because they're a full 12 by 12. So I just take my two sheets and I put them back to back and I slip them right into the 12 by 12 page protector like that. And then I have my album that's all ready to go. And this was my founder circle trip just a couple of months ago. And I was so excited to be able to actually just get this all scrapbooked and preserved and printed all within about a month. I mean, that was just really great for me because I will admit it, I am, oh, about 10 years behind in scrapbooking. So this was really encouraging. And if that's something that's interesting to you, I would suggest that you go ahead and download the Becky Higgins app for your iPhone or your iPad and try that system. And then of course we also offer the typical pocket style Project Life pages and accessories. We have the cards, we have great washi tape and little accessory packs that go with them. So not a lot of supplies needed, but a great way to preserve your memories. So now if you're interested in seeing how to get the Project Life pages printed through my digital studio. Stay tuned because the next half of this video will show you how to do that. Thanks for visiting me. Okay, so now that you have created your 12 by 12 or 8 by 8 Project Life pages with the Becky Higgins Project Life app, you've saved them as a JPEG and you want to get them printed through my digital studio, you can do that by opening up My Digital Studio. This is the screen that you will see when you open up the program. Um, you probably won't see these little icons down at the bottom because those are just past projects that I've been working on, but you'll see these options up at the top. You'll want to click on the top left, Photo Books and Individual Pages, and then I created mine as 12 by 12, so I'm going to select that. If you did 8 by 8, you can select 8 by 8 but I'm going to go with 12 by 12 and then you want to do create your own and then you'll name it. I'm just going to leave this default since this is just um, a test for this video, but you would name it something like 
Project Life pages, crews, or, you know, whatever you would like to name them. And that is going to open up a 12 by 12 page on your screen. The bleed area notification is there. I just click OK to make it go away. And you'll notice that this gray area around the edge is a bleed area, but this I have found really only applies to a bound book. If you're doing just single pages, which is what I'm doing, I'm just printing out 12 by 12 pages, this doesn't really apply. And I tested it out, I've tested it several times with lots of different projects, and it does not cut off that much off of just pages. It will cut that off if you're doing a bound book, so you do have to be careful with a book. But just for pages, you can pretty much either ignore that, or you can go under View and Bleed Area, and you can turn that off if it kind of bothers you. Now what you'll want to do is click on Photos up here on the very upper left. It's the little camera, and it says Click to Access Photos. And then you will click on Browse until you find the folder where you have saved your Project Life JPEG pages. So I've already got that folder open over here. And now what I need to do is to get these pictures over here onto my 12 by 12 page. To do that, you're going over to the right, click on Photo, click on Photo Box, and then this is going to be the area where you can put a photo. Now, of course, that's too little. We need to put it over the entire page. So what I do is I drag it up there until it matches up to the upper left corner. Then I drag my photo box all the way down to the other corner so that my photo box fills the entire page. Before I add my photo, though, what I'm going to do is down here on the bottom, on the thumbnail, I'm going to right click and say Insert Duplicate Page. And I'll show you why in just a minute. So now I clicked back on the first page, and I'm just going to grab my first photo, pull it over till it turns blue, and let go. I'm going to say OK, and now my photo is perfectly sized as a 12 by 12 memory page. Now if I go to the second thumbnail, it's ready for me to drag over another photo without inserting a photo box and enlarging it. So what I do each time is I just say Insert Duplicate Page, and then I can just come over here and grab and drag one of my photos, and then it's the right size. So it's just faster than inserting a photo box and enlarging the photo box on every single page. That's why I keep right clicking and, oops, sorry, right clicking and saying insert duplicate page. And you could just go ahead and do that for as many pages as you know that you're going to print. I think I had 23 and so I just made 23 little thumbnails down here by right clicking and inserting duplicate page and then I was ready with each one to just click and drag my photo over. Okay, so that's how you get them on 12 by 12 pages and as soon as you are ready to print them on the right side you will click on Order Project which is the bottom option and you're going to click on Individual Pages and, oh yes, I want to save it. Normally I, I would be saving that all along, but um, yes, you would save your project first. And then what you're going to do is go through and add your username and password. If you're new, you're going to do create an account, or um, if you have an existing account, you go ahead and fill that in. And then it's going to ask you how many pages you'd like, and I just want one of each printed. You could certainly get more than one of each if you were sharing this with someone, or if you were doing an extra book for grandma, or for maybe a child away at college, or something like that. You can get as many copies printed as you'd like. And then you will have the option to have it printed on heavy cardstock, or just lightweight cardstock, and that's totally up to you. 
I went ahead and did the heavy cardstock like I showed you in the beginning of this video, and I really don't think that was necessary. You could definitely save money and print it on the lighter weight cardstock. Anyway, then it'll just take you to an order. If you're a demonstrator, it'll open up a demonstrator order. If you're a customer, it will open up a customer order. You can add other things to that order if there's other things that you need from Stampin' Up! Or you can just complete the order with your My Digital Studio pages. So I hope that helps you to see how to order them in My Digital Studio. And I hope you have fun playing with the app and the Project Life by Stampin' Up! downloads, and just um, have a great time with your Project Life pages. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.